Hey guys, it's Avi, and in today's video, I'm going to just be quickly going over some of the good translation apps for Hebrew and English for Android. So I will start with Google Translate since that's a popular option, but I don't think it's the best. Download it offline, and the benefit of that is when I'm not on Wi Fi or internet, then it still has a decent translation source, but it's not the best. So if you put in paragraphs or sentences, it usually gets them wrong. It doesn't usually get like connotations. It doesn't give you the Sipore is her stories. And it doesn't give you much other information. And you could translate from English to Hebrew. But there's also like a stock market. Now this one get Bursa. Some of them get Shuka Minyot. But this one is correct. And sometimes it's very... Useful, but it doesn't have context, so that's where I'm gonna go to the next app. It's called Reverso Context. I only heard about this because I know some French people and they use it also because it has good uh, French to Hebrew and English to French. And I was using this in class and it's pretty good. So I had to use the word Tfasim and it gives you context like the app name. And I thought this was interesting how they do it. Uh, they take translations from websites. And Microsoft has like an official translation guide, so they they take some things from there, which is nice for technical Hebrew. And then also they take uh, these are all like web web based things, and they take it from their website also. Uh, but let's see if there's another example. Uh, I'm just gonna write Sipur, I guess. They take things from uh, TED Talks because they're already translated. And then they also take from movies. So here you see if it opens subtitles, it doesn't tell you the specific movie, but it's cool because it's kind of more relevant. And and it also, Google Translate does not have a uh, text to voice for Hebrew, but this one does. Sipur. And then you could also say something. But not, okay. There's that problem because my voice, because uh, my screen recorder is messing with the microphone, but you could say something in Hebrew. I don't know the quality of it, and Google Translate also has that, but the quality is lacking. And then also there's Microsoft Translator, which is pretty basic also. It does optical character recognition. Uh, I think it doesn't do it to Hebrew, but Google Translate has something similar. Uh, let's see, show, show. I'm going to go to just very basic words, and you'll see that mess up. Sometimes it has this button which shows you alternatives, but not always. You could hear. Hello. Let's see. If I go from English to Hebrew, it, it will not speak it, which is annoying, but there are some benefits. I think. Google has this also where it's, you could have like a conversation and you could have someone speak and then you speak. But that, that's about it. So these are the three translator apps that I use. And primarily in class, I use Reverso Context because it gives me the most options and it's practical. And one more thing I forgot to show you. This loads a site from their web page since they didn't integrate it. But I'm a bit annoyed that they couldn't have just made this another feature, but it's pretty useful. It shows you the congregation, conjugation, but there's also another site called peelim.co.il, and that also has it. Hey, thank you for listening. Have a nice day.